Welcome in and welcome back to the third episode of my first time playthrough of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Last we left off, we had gone to the Citadel for the first time. We were summoned there by the council and it didn't really go all that great. Saren was there and he was able to convince the council that basically everything we we're saying was nonsense. And unfortunately, we just didn't have enough evidence at the time to really implicate him in much other than a vision which has been described as both a nightmare and a vision and it had a bunch of images of war and destruction but the council just couldn't go off of a dream and the eyewitness of a farmer I believe so they basically said sorry we can't help you <laughs> and sent us on our way but we did find a few leads to some evidence that helped us and by doing so we were able to recruit Garrus and Rex and Tali and our crew's getting bigger and I'm really glad to have them. Some of the evidence we were able to find is a recording that Tali had and it was a conversation between Saren and another Spectre. <laughs> There's a lot of Spectres involved here. Uh, her name was Matriarch Benencia, and they were discussing Eden Prime and searching for an artifact, and also the return of the Reapers, and there were some other things, but finally, finally, the council said, okay, you know what, we gotta do something about this. But by do something about this, they really meant we're going to send only you <laughs> out to see what's going on, which, to be fair, I did volunteer for because it felt like the right thing to do. But I think a little help probably would have been the right thing to do as well. I mean, it was an attack, but it's fine. And then they made me a specter, which I mean, I guess is a big deal. I'm the first human specter, uh, but thus far, all it's really gotten me is a bunch of dangerous missions and assignments. And I'm really the one doing a lot here, uh, putting my life on the line while they're just holograms speaking at me, so I don't know. They also took away the Normandy from Captain Anderson. He is no longer the commander and they've put me in charge, so that felt incredibly, felt incredibly wrong. So I definitely have to do right by him and make sure that whatever it is Saren's up to, we're going to figure it out and we're going to stop it. Honestly, right now, I feel like everyone's puppet. A lot of people are asking things of me and I'm not really getting much assistance in return other than my circle on the Normandy, which right now includes Rex and Garrus and Caden and Joker, Holly and Ashley. And of course the rest of the crew, though there are some I could do without, like Presley. Uh, I'm not sure I love his ideas on aliens on the ship and aliens involvement in this you know he's very much only humans should be taking care of this and i just think that kind of thinking is probably why we're in the situation that we're in um we have a lot of assignments we have several missions one is to go find the daughter of matriarch benenzia um, maybe see if she has any information um maybe if she can help tell us i guess the whereabouts of the matriarch or what her involvement is with Saren? I don't know. I think that's what we'll look at today and we'll do a couple of assignments and then we'll just see where we get. Let's get into it. Let's look at the map really quick. Okay. What if we did missing person and missing survey team and then we did, okay, yeah, let's do that. All right. Uh, Novaria, that's one of the places that we need to investigate. Um, we're not gonna do that yet. All right, let's go. Oh, 
It's unknown. Okay. Um. Oh, so we just need to scan it. Paint trail. Planet of. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, then let's go here. All right. Let's land. Looks like it's gonna be cold there. <laughs> Hope we all have winter clothes. Alright, I wanna take Caden. And then I need to pick between my two favorite alien boys. I love having ears with me, obviously. Um you know what? Let's take, let's take Garrus this time, and then we'll take Rex next time. Okay. I feel like that's fair. Get them both out of the, out of the Normandy for a while. Oh, it's actually pretty. Okay, let's see. Mercenary camp, anomaly, abandoned camp, anomaly. Okay. Um, What's well, going to be there? The last time we hit a warning. Okay. Um, hmm. This is the closest, so let's go here for right now. <laughs> I wonder oh 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 I see some see some red on our maps interesting um I wonder what my companions think of my driving I feel like they act like they hate it but deep down they love it <laughs> like secretly they're like oh my gosh and they have fun unless they get motion sickness I wonder which of them might have motion sickness. I feel like it would be not not. Ooh, um. Ooh, there's uh, I'm building. Why do you have your gun out? What are you doing? Why is your gun out, Garrus? What are you doing? Why is your gun out? Eden doesn't have his out. What do you see that I don't see? <sighs> Stress me out. Uh, let's go. I guess we'll go here. That's close. Um. No, I think that they all pretend like they hate my driving, but they actually have a really good time because nobody, nobody drives like me. Nobody is going to be like this chaotic with it right because I think that I think Caden is he would have everyone wearing their seat belts maybe even helmets I mean helmets might be needed with the way that I drive um, Tolly would be the kind of driver that you would want to call if you got stuck in the mud or you need an oil change. Like, I think she knows a little bit about everything. Generator is still functioning. Okay. I think she knows a little bit about everything and could get you fixed up and ready to go. And then I don't think Ashley drives. I think she's a passenger. And Garrus, I think with the way he came into the picture when he shot the thug that had the doctor, I think he's like the baby driver of the Mako. Like, just super smooth with it. 
but I don't know what Rex, I don't know what kind of driver Rex would be. That's one I haven't figured out. Oh, ah! where? Oh, it's behind me. Okay. Um, is there more? Oh, oh there is more. Shoot. How many of them are there? Oh, up there? Oh my goodness. <gasps> There's so many. Oh my. Okay. Well, that was a surprise. I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> um, okay. Where to now? I did this, I did this. I really, I guess we'll go here. I feel like it's gonna be a Thresher Maw though, and it's fine, I guess. Fine. <laughs> oh goodness, there is a bunch of red over there. What is that? Is that a stronghold? What is it? I totally went off course. Do I want to potentially fight a Thresher Maw before going towards that big patch of red on my map? I don't know. I love the Mako now though. How fun. Oh yeah. Oh. They pretend like they hate it. Ooh, ooh I damaged it. That's Someone in there is yelling at me right now. <laughs> if I had brought Rex with me, I feel like he'd be like in that very deep deadpan voice that he had. I'd be like, all right, Shepard. <laughs> like, you can stop now. But I don't know what kind of driver Rex would be. Um, okay, so at least it's not a Thresher Mall, right? repair and then let's get out why am i i am i'm level kind of right what about now can i get out now cover me now kaden <sighs> you all stress me out you guys are stressing me out oh there's a corpse there mm. or was killed okay um, I guess that's all. You have your gun up. Put your gun away. Garrus, you are making me paranoid. That's what you guys do. You just make me paranoid. Okay. I guess, because it's close. Here we go. Oh, maybe that's the... Maybe that's what I'm seeing on my map. Could be. Everyone have their seatbelts buckled. Okay, I'm actually nervous. I wish that the Thresher Maws were like, you know those, oh, it's definitely down there. You know those inflatables that are at car lots and they're just like standing up and like waving all the time? I wish that's what the Thresher Maw was so that I I was just ready for it because I never know. Like when's it going to pop up? Oh, okay. Where is it? It's definitely down here. Okay. We're going to take a look around. All right. Um, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Where are you? Oh, goodness.
Can I get up there? I can. Okay. Where are you? Okay. I did not expect that. All right. Um. Why aren't you dying? Oh, I'm overheating. Not good. Where are you? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All that practice on <laughs> the first Thresher Maw really prepared me for all this nonsense. I think I did that like 10 times. Wait, is it dead? No way, it's dead. Where is it? Is it dead? No way I killed it and I didn't know. Did I kill it? Watch me get out of this thing. And try and take. Oh, we, we, we've already done this before. Okay. You guys, maybe I killed it. That's improvement. Can we just like that's 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 good improvement right there. We're getting somewhere. We're learning, growing. We're getting better. There we go. All right. Let's go see. Uh, that way. Wow. Come on. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> because the first time I took on a Threshima was not good. It was quite the ordeal. But now, look, we have this wonderful souped up Mako. Look at it. So fun. I love it. I love it. <gasps> oh! Oh! oh, they're shooting. They're shooting. They're shooting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Um, they can target from really far away. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> Why was he standing there like that? Was he T-posing? That's what I look like, though. Standing outside of the Mako trying to hit that Thresher Maw. That's how silly I looked. <laughs> that Thresher Maw was like, uh... Suck it, nerd. That is not what you're supposed to be doing. And to be fair, half the time, I did not mean to leave the Mako. It was just, it just so happened that I accidentally did. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Look how far that body went. I love it. Okay. All right. Who else is shooting at me? Anybody? Anybody. Ooh, there's still one. Where are you? Where are you? Let's go. Sorry, friend. I mean, you're not my friend, but... Sorry. No, for real. That's how silly I looked standing outside the vehicle trying to take on the Thresher Mall with my guns. <laughs> I looked that silly. And the Thresher Mall was like, get stuff, nerd dummy. Can't be taking me on on foot. Thought I could. Why do you have your gun out? Form up. Why? You guys are stressing me out. What are you guys doing? Okay. A lot of enemies. You didn't have an imaginary gun. 
Sir? <laughs> Sir? Uh, what's in your hand? You know? Hmm. Look, literally nothing. But you know what? You know what? Friend, you look cute doing it. That's, that's, that's what. Yep, you're such. Lucky you're cute. Oh, big. It's big. It's really big. Okay. Okay. Does Caden have a gun? I just need to know. Is he actually using a gun? Goodness. Okay. Oh. Thank goodness. Go down. Who? Uh, who? Where? 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 Oh, right there. Nice spot. Okay. Um. Really, two more up there. Door there. Oh, now he has a gun. Good for you, Caden. Glad you found it. God, that scared me. Oh, that scared me. Woo! Hi! I don't know who, well, I don't know who that was, but whomever it was, good shot. Okay. There's the button. All right, let's go to the new Right, done, we did everything. All right, now where to? Um, let's do the, um, uh, maybe the missing survey team? Cause we did, I think we did missing person here and the missing survey team. I mean, let's just like kind of stick with the theme, right? I'm not going to a hole. <laughs> Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies. Their freighter sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. Let's investigate. Um, mostly because I think some of you are upset that I don't <laughs> investigate very often. Let's investigate. Um, Enemy strength. What kind of resistance should I expect? The biotics were seen loading equipment into the freighter. Expect traps and combat drones. Nothing you can't handle. Biotics demand? What are the biotics asking for? They're L2 biotics, and most of them are suffering major side effects from the implants. The subcommittee denied a request for reparations to all L2 biotics. Apparently, they'd like the chairman to reconsider. Isn't Caden L2? I think Caden's an L2 biotic. Right? Apparently, they... I mean... If it's as bad as the doctor said it is, they suffer some pretty... terrible side effects from... I guess, I guess kind of like outdated technology 
um, the L2 biotics. I think Caden only has migraines and I shouldn't say only migraines because even those can be debilitating, but hmm. uh, priority of the chairman. What's the priority on saving the chairman? Oh, I didn't Save know that was going to be my preference, but we must make it clear that these tactics don't work, Commander. Your top priority is to neutralize the biotics. I have Caden with me. Can I talk? Can I? What can I do? That feels really bad. Neutralize the biotics because they're suffering from these horrible side effects of this L2 technology. And I have someone on my crew in my circle that I. It's under my command and I protect and I take care of who suffers the same thing and I'm just going to neutralize them. <sighs> maybe it will help that I, ha maybe, maybe having Caden with me will help the situation. No, I mean, I guess count on me understood admiral i'll see what i can do i appreciate you taking the time commander i'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter good luck fifth fleet out oh man this is what i mean everybody everybody wants something everybody wants something from chef i need to go always probably gonna let's take I took Gara's last, last time let's take Rex my favorite little they're my two favorite little guys Garrus and Rex I've been thinking about it and Rex reminds me of what are you doing what, what's going on here Rex reminds me of a bullet or belay, however you guys pronounce it, in D&D, &D, the little land sharks. And I wonder, ooh, I, okay, I see enemies on my map already. I wonder if that's why I like him as much as I do. Oh my goodness, there's so many. There's so many. So many. Oh no. Intruders, <laughs> kill the hostage. Yeah, let's move. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. We are. Don't get me next time. Shield down. Shields down. <laughs> what in the world? Shepard's hit. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting this. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. I'm hit. Okay, where's the last one? Someone give me a hand! Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this is intense. So, uh, see how oh, it is. Oh, you write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Yeah. Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? 
since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Do I just keep trying? Do I keep cry keep trying to convince him? Shep's a good person. I'd say chaotic good, <laughs> honestly, but... This mission probably hits close to home. I'm giving you a choice. Put down your weapons and surrender. As if we trust the Alliance after what it did to us. Get them! Take them out! Oh my gosh. I gotta be more careful. Wow. Now it gets um, fun. I wouldn't say this is fun. Someone give me a hand! I would not say this is fun at all, in fact. Caden, we just watched someone assassinated. Damn. Couldn't save him. Wow, that feels really bad. Feels really bad. I wonder if Caden has anything to say after this mission. Or assignment. I guess it's not a mission. I guess it's an assignment. The side quest. <laughs> the side quest, it feels very, very bad. Can I go out this way? No. I leave. This way? Yeah. Exit to North. Took down the biotics. Gosh, died in the course of the fight. I wonder if that's gonna come back and haunt me. But I bet if I had more Paragon and Renegade points, that wouldn't have happened. But I'm sure you're already finding your marks as a new commander of the Normandy. Take care. Take care of her for me, will you? I forgot to tell you that I had the private terminal of the Normandy reconfigured to respond to your credentials. Although, if you're reading this, I imagine you figured it out. <laughs> Anyways, I just hope you won't receive too much bad news. Good luck out there. I'm going to do right by you. Makes me so sad. I'm going to do right by you. I, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out. Message coming in. Another, okay. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns' death was regrettable, but I trust you did everything you could to save him. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Yeah, but what does that do? Okay. Oh, I went there to do the missing survey team. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Speaking of the L2s, I've noticed that when I'm in the elevators, sometimes Caden will like grab his head. It makes me wonder if he has a migraine. Alright, let's take Garrus. 
and Caden. <laughs> I saw this question the other day, and it was about, it was the Baldur's Gate 3 question, but it's fitting for here too. And it was like, if you were a companion and you had to answer honestly, would you be selected to leave camp? And in this case, would you be selected to... Definitely a Thresher Mall. Back to, we'll come back to that. We'll come back. Um, but it was like, if you were a companion, would you be selected to leave the camp? Or would you be left behind? So, would you be, would I be selected to basically leave the Normandy? And I've been thinking about it, and I think it depends. <laughs> I think for stuff like this, if it includes driving, 100%. I don't think there is another commander or another crew mate that drives like me. Uh, enemy, okay. And so, do I think they'd bring me on for this? 100%. Yes, absolutely. Uh, shooting mission? No, I scare really easily. <laughs> ooh, 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 hi, hi. Uh, oh! Look how far he went! Oh my gosh, look how far that one went! <gasps> that is wonderful. Oh my gosh, can I do it to all of them? They are literally on top of the freaking. This this was the perfect example of why this is why they take me on these ones. This is why <laughs> it, it was right there. That's why they take me on these missions because they're like, yeah, Shepard, chaotic driver, but so fun. It's like a roller coaster. She also good with the cannon once she figured it out. <laughs> but for other missions. Probably not. I scare really easy. I jump a lot. Garrus, now you have a pretend gun. I expected better from you. You're so cool. Why? Oh, oops. Uh, oh, it's still there. Reconnaissance missions? Yeah, probably not. I get way too scared and I'm way too jumpy. And there's probably someone better suited for that. It's social missions? Yeah, I think they take me. Oh no, this is it. This is, right? This is the Thresher Mall. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Surprising. Also, this is very close to the part where Joker will yell at me. is transmitting. <gasps> Causing them to crash. But driving? Yeah, they for sure take me for stuff like this. Nobody's doing it like I do it. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Is that where I need to go? doing go oh that's not even where I was headed I just got super distracted oh what's that? 
Okay, there's two things over here. Hmm. Where is everybody? I don't know, friend. Your guess is as good as mine. Heading out. Okay. Stop yelling. You're stressing me out every time you yell. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Guess we should head to the excavation site then. on the other side, so that's good. The carrier still has his imaginary gun. What is going on? Why are they suddenly doing that? On me! Okay. I don't know. There they are. Okay. The survey team must have unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Wow, why did Mimi seen this before? Where did you see this at, Garrus? I smell trouble! Yeah, me too. Many. Oh my gosh. The counts were all the exogeny survey team. They were converted. <gasps> they were converted to cyberkinetic husk. By devices similar to those used on Geth. Used by the Geth on Eden. Hey. What were they doing here? I think we got him, Commander. Same. Same, same, same. I think we did too. Okay, I think we try the dig site. Okay, let's try the dig site. We're gonna take Rex and we're gonna take Kaden.
Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. <laughs> it looks like it's coming off from an underground charts. complex a few <laughs> clicks away from the drop zone. Thank goodness for Joker. Can you imagine if I had to drive the ship and what that would look like? That would be a disaster. Talk about my companions really being upset. They would be so upset with that. Joker is a godsend and we love him. All right. Um, I feel like I have to be really, that's really, I mean, it's pretty, but it looks very dangerous. I feel like I have to be very careful. <gasps> oh, like that. I was looking down at my map, looking at the red. <laughs> and I almost drove into the lava. Okay, now I have to be serious. It's serious time. It's serious. We have to be serious now. Okay. Down one. Down two. Okay. This may be the mission where they're like, we're no longer taking you on our driving ones. This may, this may be the mission that gets me stuck in the Normandy, never to be taken out again. I almost drove into the lava. Okay. Only a fool punches a Nathak in the mouth. Rex. You should sneak around and pull its tail. Rex, hush. Hush it. Just let me do my thing. <gasps> hey, Rex? Oh, wait, there's someone else? Where, where, where? I just came from that way. Oh, 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 I see you. Shoot. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't think I can drive up that. <laughs> oh, lots of enemies here. Lots of enemies here. Lots of enemies here. Okay. <gasps> lots of enemies. stuck <laughs> yeah this is it this is the mission this is the mission that gets me grounded and they're like mm. maybe maybe you just do the paperwork on the ship maybe you just stay on the normandy okay okay It is affecting me from really far away.
Okay. Done. And oh, but it still hit me. Dang it. Another one. Oh, more things up here. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Got you, got you, got you. You're down. You're dead. <gasps> Who? You're dead. Oh, <laughs> and you went really far. Oh god, I'm getting ready to die. Ah, and you're dead. And you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. My Mako's getting ready to die. Auto saves. That's what's popping up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay. Is there another ship? Is that what I just heard? Another one? <gasps> okay, maybe I'll redeem myself. Maybe I'll... And there it goes. And just like that. now. <gasps> oh my gosh, stop. Okay. I'm jammed. What am I jammed for? Can I fit through there? Mm. I feel like I can fit through there. Oh, I don't like that new music, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I can. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there's definitely a way. There's definitely a way. Um, it's like that cat meme. It's like, uh, if it fits, I sit. <gasps> I feel like I have to get... Oh, oh, oh.
I just get the right angle, I feel like I can get in there. Ooh, not like that, though. Oh my gosh, I'm almost there. Oh my god, tell me I'm not stuck like that. I think I'm stuck, but that proves it. I can get through there. I knew it, 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 I knew it. I knew you could do it. Okay. Okay. Ooh! Okay. Oh, I'm still jammed. Okay. Where's the other one? Okay. Ooh, oh goodness. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's one up there. Yes, I see you. You are definitely not supposed to drive this thing up here, are you? Uh... <gasps> yes! Okay. Oh! 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 Wow. Is there one over here, too? Oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> moment to collect ourselves. Interesting. Ooh. Another ship. Whose gun is that supposed to be? I'm so confused as to what's going on. Okay. <gasps> oh, I don't even know what that was. Goodness. Oh! oh my goodness. Okay. What is shooting at me? <gasps> what is that thing? Oh my goodness. Where is it? Okay. 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 One more. There. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Now 
goes, that's, that's done. On my way. <laughs> what are you doing out there? Just taking in the view? Okay, perfect. Love it. All right. Huddle up! What are you, what are you looking at? Let's go. a long hallway. Oh, oh, something's up there. Oh, I'm jammed again? <gasps> okay. Mm. Mm. I see you. Okay. <gasps> Another? Secured. Ooh, what's that? Hostile contact. Oh, my goodness. Charging up. <laughs> That's sarcasm, right? That is his sarcasm. Peter looks handsome there. Look, we're the same height. We're all the same height. <laughs> What's that? What was that? Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? Please? Okay. okay. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. And it doesn't sound like you're on her side. Why wouldn't you just say that? That sounds super shady. That's... How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up. So I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Okay. There's a Krogan with the Geth. Um, she's got some 90s eyebrows. 
for sure. Where? 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 Okay. Um. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Nice. One more there. Can I hit it from here? <gasps> Can I hit that shield? Yes, I can. Can I hit you? Yes, I can. Shields down. Okay. One left. Oh, no, I'm jammed again. Okay. Oh, I go down this way. Okay. Okay, that's Geth though. Where's the Krogan? Perimeter clear. <laughs> Hello, friend. I love you. You're the best. Was there something? Is there a note I was supposed to find that tells you what that tells you what you should be pushing right now? Oh, she's behind. Okay. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. Same. That button should shut down my containment field. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. Yeah. The conduit, but I don't know. That makes that makes sense. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. <laughs> secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Not much margin for error. Yeah. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. We're not gonna let that happen, Rex. Oh, oops. Sorry. I forgot that I was... There's the Krogan. Okay. Surrender, or don't, that would be more fun. Mm, this run's coming down. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? 
Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. I mean, we're not getting out of this without a fight, right? So... Why, why are we putting off the inevitable? We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I like your attitude. Same to you, friend. Mm, mm, mm. Powering up. Ah! Go! <laughs> Kato runs out before all of us. He's this tra he's the track star. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten <laughs> sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. <laughs> we almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? You see, ma'am? Um... Um, maybe don't talk about my pilot. Don't talk about my pilot. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. There we go. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Just how old are you exactly? I don't care about that. I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn. Then... I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Hmm. I know. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and yeah. cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. How do you know? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. Oh my gosh, what is I have been here? working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. 
and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Who came before? If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Mm. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. So they didn't come up and with it. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. That sounds so rude. Shut up and I'll tell you. Who really- what? I can help you? They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Uh, of course, okay. you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. Any... I mean, <laughs> I can feel like, so what good are you? Uh, cause surely she can help us. I mean, we should take all the help we can get. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Yeah, agreed. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. <laughs> oh, Rex. You're such a realist. Okay, uh, welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? <laughs> Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. Oh, it Dad. is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Sure, yeah. We'll talk later. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Uh, yeah. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. Yes. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. What does that mean? Wants to help us? Liara's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. Mm. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? You know, y'all got a lot to say for somebody who's doing a whole little and backed up a terrible person in Saren.
apart from the utter destruction. You know what? What if we... What if we just disconnect? What if we just disconnect and we're like, <laughs> my bad, bad connection. And... Let's just do a whole lot of talking and very, very little. What? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. <laughs> All right, Joker. All right. Where do we go to now? We do. Oh, it's a mission. So, uh, let's go talk to our companions. They, sh they should have stuff to say. I think that's what some of the comments said. Talk to your friends after every mission. Um, let's go to the garage. The garage. Let's see what our friends down there have to say. Hmm. Have you always been down there? Um, okay, let's talk to Garrus. Wait. He doesn't have anything to say? I can't talk to him? Commander, there how are you? You and C-Sec, okay. Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay, well, such as... Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. Mm. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. So it's in the family, which she can understand because she is also a military brat. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. Oh no, okay. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger for the same reasons. Spectre? Okay. Garrus has the potential. Am I supposed to not give in to his... You were asked turn? to be a Spectre. Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. <laughs> like you, Commander. No offense. Well... <laughs> What does too bad mean? I wonder. Bad. Or I see. Like, is too bad being like, oh, that's too bad he wouldn't like me? Because I would want him to like me because I like you. Or is too bad I like having unlimited power? <laughs> Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think we just go with I see. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. I suppose. <laughs> but Saren's not going to play by our rules, C sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. That's true. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. Yeah. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. Hmm. <laughs> Commander, good to see you. 
Okay. Talk to my other favorite alien. Rex, what do you have so, to say? So, we've got Saren on the run. Why is Investigate up there so early? Yes, it do. won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Yeah, I like your confidence. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Everybody know this man? Like, literally everybody? You Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. <laughs> I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. Well, I wish I hadn't said this like that. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. So he recruited you. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. Hmm. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. Hey, well, what was he doing? What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him. Mm. So I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. I mean, that is fair enough. Uh, ship. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. Hmm. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Wow. Oh, okay. So long, Rex. <laughs> Why Shepard. do I end it like that? Shepard. <laughs> Shepard. Why do I end it like that, though? Shepard. All right. Bye, Rex. friend. <laughs> Bye. Love you. All right. Um. Commander? Uh, can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. Okay. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Why should they not have full access to the ship, Ashley? You mean those people that have been, I, I don't know, Rex been on almost every mission with me? But, but should he have full access to the ship? I mean, he's just laying his life on the line almost every time we take him out, but we shouldn't give him full access to the ship. For what? For why? What if I just say, what do you mean? Would, will she give me a straight answer if I say, what do you mean? Should they have full access to the ship? 
why wouldn't they have full access to this ship? They're doing, I mean, granted, I'm the one that doesn't take you, but they're doing way more than whatever you're doing back here. <sighs> okay, um, I, I think, I think on this one, I think on this one I go with the, what do you mean? And we're just gonna have her clarify. Don't mince words, Chief. What you concern? There we go. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. She's seen... Because maybe I'm not taking her with us, but she has seen everything these people have done. And she, and yet she still says this. Who raised you? Like, who raised you? Why are you this way? I came from a game where the bi panic is like, and I know, I know Ashley's not for the girls, but even if she were, <laughs> that attitude's ugly. That attitude's ugly. You're ugly on the inside. Ugly on the inside. Yeah, I feel like she's so out of line. You can't, you can't be saying all that. I just think she's out of line. The, it, um... Ew, who raised you? You're out of line. That's enough, Chief. You always second guess your superiors? Ma'am, no ma'am. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. Why? Let's go talk to Tali. Let's go talk to someone nice. Oh, hello, Shepard. Um, what's wrong? Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me. Especially the <laughs> chief engineer. Thank the Lord. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? First of all, I like that she said the chief engineer is being very nice to her. That's good. We need more kind humans. Um, but it's too quiet to sleep. The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. Mm. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. He's homesick. Baby girl. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. <laughs> But you're going back, right? <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm gonna be like, I'm not stuck with you, right? Like you're you're gonna leave, right? Right? You're not staying. Um, I don't know if I like that answer. I feel like I've I've already asked her all of these. Um, well, I guess that's the only thing to say. Hopefully, it's not bad. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, 
I might not have a home to go back to. Yeah, she's got the right attitude. She is not human. She had, you know, and she's like, we got to stop him because this could go. It's spread. We all need to be in this. I should go. See you later. You are a sweet girl. Talk to Rex. Talk to Garrus. Talk to Ashley. Um. I, I don't. I don't know what to do about Garrus. I feel like I'm not saying the right things. To him. But I don't know. Should I be more chaotic? Like chaotic good. Why does he always look like he's rolling his eyes at me? Commander, do you have a minute? Oh, sure. You're gonna tell me <laughs> something prejudiced just like Ashley did? I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get back up from the council? Yes, yes, Sorry, exactly. Commander, there's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. I mean, I am with you on that. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Yes, we are in The council in doesn't line. want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Yeah. It's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Why would I say zip it? What's wrong with what he said? That's weird. An old fashioned view. Why would it be old fashioned? None of these seem like great answers. I don't know. Q way to look at it? I have no idea. Well, well. You're oh. romantic. <laughs> Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves or, you know, for justice. Or maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in bot. I mean, I don't think. Why did you didn't get too informal? I mean, it's fine. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. Hmm. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. I mean, accidental is in quotation marks, so you doubt Is there some it? question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Wow. How would they... how would they know? Um... Look how pretty Shepard looks there. Shep, girl... You look good. All right, um, yeah, we're going to investigate uh, Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades, right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. Okay. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. Hmm. Uh, there were other online. kids in the same boat, right? 
At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. Oh. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Time to talk, then. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. yeah. We'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards, or network games. There was this girl named Rana, who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Ma'am. <laughs> Is he calling? Is he calling me beautiful? I was just commenting on how good she looks. Um. Um. Did you love her? Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. Is she gonna come back? Is this foreshadowing? You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. That makes that whole kidnapped ambassador reparations. I mean, obviously not the right way to go about it. They're... Oh my goodness. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The Grand Gateway to Humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. Well, that's okay. I was interested. I asked the questions. I wanted to get to know you a little better. That's all. Yeah. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, you're welcome, ma'am. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? <laughs> um. I don't know what to say. What do I say? What do I say? What do I say? Okay, um. See, this is why I shouldn't know what the good and the bad choices are. Because now I know the bad choice is at the bottom, so I don't want to pick that. I don't even know if I would say that, though, to some degree. Or that's just really none of your business, <laughs> what I talk about with other people. I feel like that's a good point, actually. It's not his business, what I talk about with other people. So I could just be really coy and be like, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> and just, you know, it's like a non-answer. It's a non-answer answer. Yeah, it's none of your business. I think. Because no, just you feels really forward. That feels like... I don't even know what I think of Caden. What? Uh, yeah, what, what do you think? No, no I don't. We'll talk again later. Well, that's not how I wanted to say I'll, it. I'll, uh... I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah, I'd like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, interesting. Uh, oh, I, I can, I can, um, I can go talk to uh, Liera. We have um.
Okay. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Well, yeah, you... I mean, something bad happened. We had to send you for a checkup, so, um... I was worried. I you look okay much better. Start. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Oh, so it's actually a good hire. One of the... one of the good hires. Good, good, good. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... Mm. Sounds like such an asshole thing to say. I mean... It's just part of the mission. Gosh, and I bet it comes out even worse than that, actually. Okay, don't mention it. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Which part of the crew? Tell me who it is. Tell me who it is. Just, just drop some names. Is it Ashley? Is it Presley? Because... <sighs> See the way they look at me. If and when I get to pick... My own crew. They're gonna be some people that they're gonna they're they're gonna be bye bye, and they're just no longer, you know. Do I know them? Oh, I can help you to stop Saren. Oh, okay. I don't feel like I know any of that, but don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I mean, we're having deep conversations with any with everybody, so... Uh, why not? I'd like to talk about you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Do you like you it? must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. Hmm. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, <laughs> Commander. <laughs> Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only offended. meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> okay, that part did sound like she wanted to dissect me. Interesting specimen. Um, but yeah, I wasn't. Calm down, serious. Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. It's fine. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I don't think it was a big deal. Why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. Mm. At least I hope so. Her mom. I'm not gonna... This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. Asari culture. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. Oh. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. 
Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Okay. The... You guys seem to have it right. But what rumors? Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. Oh. My species is monogendered. Male and female mating have rituals, no real okay. meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, is that invasive? How is that possible? Every time I ask one of these questions, it ends up coming out in a way I don't mean for it to. Um, I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. Ew. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. Oh. Okay. Melding of two minds. Okay. Um, what about the other parent? What happens to your partner after the union? Oh. Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Who's your father? Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Oh. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pureblood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Oh my gosh. Who is shame? Oh, don't know that. Let's not make assumptions here. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Maybe something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Mm -hmm. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Our mom really loved her partner. Often the partner will pass on long before the child. How did they deal with you that? You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Actually, so I feel like I've asked all this stuff, haven't I? Asked who the father was, right? Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? Yeah, I already asked She that. rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Benezia? As I... It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. 
Okay. I feel like we've learned a lot about our companions, if nothing else. 